What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today we're coming in with the long-awaited, the highly requested, my first time drinking lean video. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And without further ado, actually, no, there is further ado. I lie. Don't know why I said that. Got a couple things to mention before I dive into this. First off, got a song by my buddy Samron at the end of this video. Link to him will be in the description. He just dropped an entire album, and it's all heat, so go listen to it. Show him some love. This isn't paid promo or anything he's just my homie and he makes good music and also follow me on fucking instagram okay listen there's almost a hundred thousand of you people out there now and i don't even have 10k on instagram that means less than 10 percent of you give a fuck and that's a little upsetting to say the least so all y'all are grounded if you don't go follow my instagram linked in the description at the gbln i'm not kidding t-h-e-g-b-l-n that's my at go follow me now without further ado let's dive into it baby First time drinking lean. Now, listen, to preface this, I want to say, first off, you guys might be expecting some some crazy, like, yeah, you know, I bought six pints from my plug, got them shipped, crazy stuff, all right? And you also might be expecting me to use on-point terminology here. And let me make something very clear, because lean drinkers are a very sensitive category of users, right? You Like... No new motherfuckers in the lean circle, okay? If you if you don't use proper terminology, they get mad. So listen, all right? I just got to say up front, I've only done this one time. I'm going to use a lot of terminology that sounds very suburban and doesn't sound very proper. Not some shit you hear in a song, all right? And also, all right, I didn't just buy a fucking pint and crack the seal. So all y'all who are going to comment saying, man, you drank some food lane. You ain't even cracked the seal. You probably haven't either. So either way, without further ado, let's dive into it. Now, this happened a little while ago now. It, it was probably a little under three months at this point in December of 2018. And I want to also say, hey, I'm not back into the hard drugs. But listen, I did this for the one time because y'all been asking for it. So, you know, I start off my day. It's a completely normal day. Like I, I don't like I'm not going out of my way or planning to just get super fucked up on this day. And I hit up my boy, Tim. Tim's a good friend of mine. He's been a character in some of the recent stories. I go over to his crib. We'll smoke some dope, kick it for a little bit. I hit up Tim, see what's going on. Tim's like, yeah, you know, slide, let's smoke. So I go over to Tim's house. Now, Tim's house is typically the function, you know, it depends on the day of the week, but Tim's house is, you know, usually the kickback for the boys. You know, he's got OC all the time. It's just a chill, nice spot to be, you know? So either way, I pull up to Tim's house, Tim's in there, his girlfriend's in there, if I remember correctly, and there was a couple other people around, you know, kicking it, hanging out, who aren't as important to this story, you know, so I shake up with Tim and the boys, you know, say hello to everybody, say what's going on, sit down, we start smoking some blunts. Now, you know, nobody had even brought up lean yet, like this had not come into the equation yet. And as we progressed through the night, you know, we'd smoked a couple more blunts. We'd been chilling, taking some dabs, just hanging out, having a good time, you know, having the time of our lives. A guy who we're going to call Brad comes over. Now, shout out to Brad. He hooked it up on the lean, but I'll get to that later. He just wanted me to give him a, a little love in the video. So either way, Brad pulls up to the function. Now, Brad's a guy I've known for a long time. I've known him since high school, smoked my fair share of blunts with the guy. Cool dude. He pulls up to the function. Now, from what I know of him, we aren't super close, but I know that, like, sometimes he'll randomly have, like, just super random drugs, but, like, he's not a plug, right? It's just, like, every now and then he'll get some shit to flip, and it'll be, like, something really unexpected or random, you know? So, like... On this particular day, he walks in the function, shakes up, you know, everyone's kicking it, sits down around the dining room table, and we're all having a chat. And a guy who we're going to call, you know, his name's not even important because it's the only time he's in the story now that I think about it. So we're just going to call him fucking, like, shit, all right? So shit asks Brad. He's like, yo, you know, how was that lean the other day? And, you know, I'm a little curious. I'm in on the conversation, kind of listening. He's talking about it. He's like, oh, you know, that shit was nice. And, you know, they were just talking about it a little bit. And, you know, I became a part of the conversation. I was like, yeah, yo, like, I've never drank that shit, you know? And everyone at the table looked kind of flabbergasted when I said that. They looked a little blown. They were like, yo, what? Like you haven't drank that shit because they know me well and they know that I've done my fair share of drugs, right? Like I've definitely eaten too many drugs for my own good. But for me to say that I've never drank lean caught them off guard. And I, I don't know, I guess I never knew that. Like I figured they did, but I guess they didn't. So either way, I was like, yeah, I never drank it. So 
you know, I'm kind of asking Brad some questions about it. I'm like, you know, is the shit real? Like, you know, how, how is it? You know, how's it going? Is it nice? You know, is it worth the money? And, you know, we're conversating for a little bit. And, you know, it's some expensive shit, you know? So I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, all right, I'm a little interested in experiencing this because, like, the opportunity has presented itself, right? Like, Brad made it very clear to me if I wanted some, he could go grab it right now. Like, he doesn't have it with him, but he had to run back to his house and grab it. But we'll get to that later. So, conversation goes on. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm probably down to try some. Like, how much should I go for the first time? He's like, dude, you definitely just need a line. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that that's one fluid ounce, all right? We're getting science lesson, motherfuckers. Open your ears, okay? One fluid ounce, that's a line, all right? Two fluid ounces, that's a deuce, you know? And they say, you know, drop a deuce in the cup, you know? That's two fluid ounces lean, everybody. Take your fucking notes. So, nevertheless, he's like, yeah, you know, a line will probably get you right. Now, me being me, the first thing that comes to my mind is, what about two lines, you know? Because listen, all right? Not only am I reckless and out of pocket with all of my drug use, but I'm also a bigger guy, you know? I'm a little bit fat, if you will say. So... I figured, hey, I don't know how my body's going to process lean. I don't really know shit about this, but maybe I should just go for the deuce, let it happen, you know? Plus, that's the amount that all the rappers talk about, all right? And if I was just going to sip half of a deuce, then I'd look like a pussy in front of all of you. So I had to, you know, unpussify myself, whatever fucking word you want to use. So I'm like, bet, let me get a deuce, you know? So I throw him the money for it. Fucking expensive. I'm not even going to say the price, and here's why. Because whenever I say the price, I get a million comments saying, man, goblin, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. My plug does it for half that price, you fucking moron. And it's 120% pure lean, you fucking idiot. You know, so I'm not even going to say the price I paid. But let's just say I paid more than I wanted to pay, right? Definitely more than I wanted to pay for any drug. So I throw him the bread. He's like, all right, I got to go grab the shit from my house. I'll be back in a minute. So he dips. I'm cooling at Tim's house. He comes back maybe 20 minutes later, and he's got those little, like... I don't remember the brand. It's like nature something, natural something. It's like those lemonades that are really fucking good. You know, the super smack lemonades. And he comes back with one of those tiny little things with the lemonade. And he comes back with another empty one with the lean in it. And I'm taking a look. Shit looks pretty right. I would put some pictures on screen, but I kind of can't because I have to make a living here. Let's be honest. So but I do have pictures of it, so you guys can, like, ask me for those if you want, and I'll provide them, but nevertheless, so he has one unopened thing of the lemonade, and then he's got another little lemonade thing that's empty, you know, nice and cleaned out with the lean in it, and, you know, he holds it up, he shows it to me, shows it to everyone else, you know, I don't really, I'm not a lean expert, like, I've never cracked a seal before. I've never done that, any of that shit leading up to this point. So, like, I didn't really know what I was looking at. I was just like, well, shit's fucking kind of purplish. Like, all right. <laughs> like, all right, bet. You know, I'm either drinking Zan juice or I'm going to have a good time. So, you know, I figured, all right, bet. Now, I have it, but I don't know when I want to do it, you know? So, Brad dips out of there. Tim's house kind of dies down, you know, and I figure at that point, I'm just going to save it. You know, shit kind of slows down. We're all just smoking our last blunts. Everyone's slowly leaving. And I figure I'll just save it, you know? So I shake up with Tim, shake up with everyone. I go back home and I'm chilling for maybe an hour, you know? Tim hits me up and he's like, hey, buddy, how's that lean treating you? And he hit me up almost the moment that I had decided that I was just going to go for it. You know, I was sitting at my desk and I figured, all right, I'm just going to pour this shit up and see where it takes me, you know, sitting right here at this desk. And Tim hit me up at the perfect time, like as I was pouring up. And listen, all right, y'all are probably going to ask in the comments, Goblin Man, did you even have a double cup, man? Where's the Jolly Ranchers? Listen, all right, I literally poured this shit straight into the lemonade, shook it up sipped. That's all I did. All right. Didn't shake it too hard. Just a little bit, you know, a little tipsy turny, tipsy turny, you know, get a little mixed up and you know, just to make sure it's spread evenly in there. So it doesn't drop straight to the bottom. And let me tell you, it was pretty, it was a nice purple beverage, you know, light purple, light purple, but purple, you know, it was, it was a pretty beverage. So Tim hit me up at the perfect time, just as I was getting ready to get it cracking. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I haven't drank any yet, but I could just slide back and you could see for yourself. And he's like, all right, yeah, bet. Come smoke. So I'm like, for sure. Sounds good. So I grab my little lemonade freshly poured up. I grab my bud. I grab my car keys, hop in the whip, cruise on over to Tim's. Now, this is irresponsible of me. Don't do this. But on the way over to Tim's, I sipped it. I sipped the whole thing. And, you know, it's a nice little cruise over to Tim's. And I, I wasn't really sure how fast I was supposed to drink it. But I was like, all right, probably 
probably should just take it slow, you know? Like, I figure, you know, it's, it's not something I gotta just down, I gotta chug. I've never seen anyone do that. So I was like, am I, like, I was, I was really trying to focus while I was driving over to Tim's. Like, how fast am I drinking this, you know? And it's like a 15-minute drive over there. So, you know... As the 20, you know, 20, 30 minutes, because I took an extra long route, because I was trying to, like, really cruise, you know, I was trying to vibe out, all right, I was, I was, like, on top of the world at this point, you know, sitting there, got my little deuce poured up, whipping hard, you know, listening to some music, I was like, dude, I feel like OGZ right now, like, this is sick, you know, so, finally, I finished sipping it, I get to Tim's house, right, at this point, you know, I'd literally just put the thing down. I was maybe like 25 minutes after I first started drinking it, and I hadn't felt shit yet. So I was like, all right, whatever. Go into Tim's house, shake up. He's like, how you feeling? I'm like, I don't know. I literally just killed the thing, so we'll find out. So, you know, I sit down at his dining room table, and we smoke a little bit. We're chatting, start rolling up a blunt. Now, what really caught me off guard as this night progressed is how subtle lean really was how subtle this experience was for me you know and it's like I don't know I just I I expected something different I expected like a really like opiate kind of like feeling you know I like I I just expected to feel like barred out almost but with a mix of like like physically I expected to feel like I was on hydros and mentally I expected to feel barred out that's not how I felt at all that's not how I felt at all so you know, we end up chilling at his house for a little bit. We roll up a blunt, like, as soon as I get there and go smoke it. Now, we finish smoking this blunt, go back inside, and I'm cooling. I noticed as we, like, as we went out to the garage to smoke this blunt, before we'd even sparked it, I was starting to feel real good. And, like, it wasn't like I was high, but I felt very, like, I don't know what's the best way to put it. Like, I just felt, like just so like fluffy like I just felt like comfy like I felt like I was just laying on a bed of the softest nicest pillows imaginable you know and I just I felt so like good like I just felt wavy with it you know like I just felt like anything that was going on I'm going with the flow you know I'm just feeling great and I I was just kind of vibing that's the best way to put it I hate that fucking disgusting word but vibing's the best way to put it you know I was just chilling cool and relaxing having a great time doing absolutely fuck all you know so we smoke this blunt I go back inside and I'm sitting at his table and Tim looks over at me again and he's like oh I could tell you're feeling good and according to him I didn't really notice this but my eyes were like Chinese at this point like I was my eyes were like damn near closed and I was just sitting there smirking and I was just laughing. Like, I was like, what do you mean, bro? Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? I'm just sitting there cooling, dude. My arms are crossed. I'm leaning back in this chair. I'm fucking faded. I'm feeling great. And, you know, here's the thing. Alone, I don't think I would enjoy this substance, right? I don't think I would enjoy lean on its own. But as the night progressed and I continued smoking blunts and just kicking it with Tim and just mixing it with weed... I have to be honest, I'm not trying to promote it, but I've never done a substance that mixes with weed so well. When I tell you that I have, like, the feeling in me when I smoked the blunt during this night was better than any orgasm I could possibly achieve, and I'm not kidding. Like, it it, it sounds a little fucked to say that, all right? But I've come my fair share of times, and I haven't had a feeling like that any time any time that I've nutted, all right, let alone any time in general, like, it it feels like what you expect weed to feel like before you smoke for the first time, like, what you expect being stoned is like, that is what lean is kind of like, if that makes sense, or at least the mixture of lean and weed, you know, because a lot of my substances, I end up mixing them with weed, because I just never stop smoking pot, and it's a terrible habit for me, but, (laughs) but nevertheless, you know, I, I've never done a substance that just mixed with bud so well i was sitting there smoking blunts we were playing some music of course i had the aux at one point i was playing a little shoreline because like come on dude like you have to all right i had to go for the full lean drinker experience okay i had to so bumping some shoreline bumping some good rap and chilling and any music that came on I liked, you know, and that's not how, normally how it is. Like, I'm pretty picky with my music typically. Like, I'm really into specific kinds of rap. But when Tim was playing music, I didn't give a fuck what he was playing. I liked all of it. Like, I was just cool and having the time of my life. And his girl, who we're going to call Kelly, she was sitting there. She was like, oh, damn, like, you really are having fun. <laughs> 
I was just sitting there so fucked. Like, I just know the smirk on my face. They could tell that my brain cells were getting eaten alive by the codeine. Like, just didn't, just annihilated. My cranium was gone. But I'd never had so much fun losing brain cells in my whole life. I'll tell you that much. Like, when I say that... I like there's not much more to this story. You guys are probably expecting me to have done some crazy shit or to have some like crazy experience on this, but this substance is not at all what it's made out to be. And that's kind of what I want to make clear here. Like in my experience, this substance was not at all what I expected, you know? So like if you're someone who thinks you're going to end up trying lean, hope this video helped. And all I got to say is go into it. Don't have high hopes, right? Like just go into it and expect that if you got some blunts with you, you're going to have a really dope time, you know? But it's like, it's just, it's a very strange substance. It is because it's like, it, like it's, it's, it is an opiate, it, like technically, but it's almost like its own lane. Like it doesn't really feel like anything I've done before. It's a very weird feeling. Like the, the euphoria you get from it is like Molly, but then the physical feeling is where the opiate part of it kind of comes out. And it's just, it's just a very, very strange, strange feeling. And when mixed with weed, it's kind of badass. I'm not going to lie, but nevertheless, Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like. If you did get ready for another banger dropping tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to follow my fucking Instagram. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Every day. They be like, what you want? I tell them everything. Uh. Tell the bank, tell it, give me everything. Uh. Send me what you selling, I got everything. Uh. That's every day. My uncle just passed me in a better place. Uh. That's why I got a score on like every play. Uh. Cause niggas out here dying like every day. Uh. She want a nigga like me. Her nigga don't like me, but he want to be just like me. Go chain in a white tee. I'm not even trying, but I highly advise you don't try me. My niggas is grimy. My niggas is slimy. Slack. If I come and kill you, the police won't find me. I'm in a...